Welcome to Web Squared 5 Tutorials. This video shows how to use context menus for debugging purposes. By holding Control button and right clicking the Web Squared page, you can view the debugging menus. This is a Web Squared page. We have three tabs in the tab control component. By holding Control key and right-clicking, you can display context menus for debugging purposes. Let us select View Logs. The logs are displayed, and the log control buttons are displayed in the lower part. Now, let us select the View QR menu. The address of the current page is displayed. Open a new tab on the browser and go to the displayed address. You can see the same web page. This time, let us select the second view QR menu. The QR code is displayed as an image. Go to the main page and select the view source menu. The source code of the main page is displayed. Go to the tab 1 and select View Source. The source file code of the tab 1 is displayed. Go to the tab 2 and check the source code. Now, tab 3. You can highlight the source code. Go to the main page and this time select the View Data Collection menu. No data collection in the main page. Go to the tab 1 in which grid view bound with the data list exits. The data list Bound with the grid view is displayed. Now move to the tab 2. Select View Data Collection. No data collection found. In tab 3, no data collection is used, hence, no data is displayed. Select View Instance. You can check the instances. You can also use the highlighting feature. Select Change Client Name. You can rename the client. You can start debugging on the page or on the system. Go to the tab 2 and select Print. The printing setting is displayed. Now, close tabs, tab 3 and tab 2, and select Reset Page. The closed tabs will be reset. The grid view is in tab 1, and tab 1 is made of W frame. Let us see how to reset this W frame. Change data in the grid view that is in the tab 1, which is made of W frame. On the tab 1 page, select Reset W frame. The grid view in the W frame, that is tab 1, is reset. Now, change the data in the grid view and close tab 3 and tab 2. And reset the page. The grid view data is reset and the close tabs are opened again. Select File Info. The file name of the current page is displayed. Select Version. You can check the currently used WebSquare Engine version. 
Thank you for watching.